Hello. Hmm? Ezio, you old snake. You walked right past me. Forgive me, Sofia. I did not notice. What are you doing in Galata? Making some deliveries. Is this where you stay? Uh, see, si. It is a kind of school. What is taught here? Come this way. I want to show you something. I have been stalking the library here with rare books. A good start, no? Ah, these are all so beautiful. And such diversity. So are these men and women your students? In a way, yes. Well, if they ever need a literature scholar, give them my name. In a pinch, I am a pretty good teacher. If they find the time to read, I certainly will. Oh, Chaucer! Bellissimo! Write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession, and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister. For it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Such a climb. Così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile. And that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself, and let them go. Let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. The end of the road.
What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man, and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life, and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia, you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. to my books. Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Strange visions and messages of ones who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family? What does the apple say?
Another artifact? No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. But I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? speak across centuries. Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. I am taking Marcello into town. Hmm. To see Machiavelli's play? Ezio, his play closed three weeks ago. I missed it. We are visiting your sister. Keep an eye on Flavia, okay? See, si, of course. We will be back soon. Ciao, amore mio. A più tardi. Be safe. Flavia, tesoro. Stay where I can see you. Go 
inside, Flavia. I do not know what else to say. I'm sorry. I do not want any part of this. I want to understand. Understand what? How to lead, to rebuild my order. No, for me that is over. Benito, now I think you should go. Ezio, she has come a long way. Xiao Yun, did I say that right? Uh, would you stay for supper? Grazie. <laughs> Good, we have a spare bedroom. You're welcome to stay a few nights. <laughs> Are you okay? I cannot seem to leave my past behind me. I started this act of my life so late, Sophia. I knew I would not have enough time to do everything. Now I worry I do not have enough time to do anything. I was wrong. See, I think you need to go. My name is Ezio Alditore. When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. It would be 30 long years before I understood the meaning of all three. I want to understand, like you do, to help my people. I was an assassin for a long time, Yun. And I know that at any moment, someone could come for me, or my family. Do you see? This is why I must be careful. I usually hire people to help me with Vendange, the grape harvest, but... Intra, let us get something to eat. lucky of these last three seasons. This way, I want to show you something. It is 
znajš, no. Jena divita. Half my family was murdered in this piazza, right there, 45 years ago. But now, see it like this, full of life. I cannot help but feel content and satisfied that so much pain has faded away. The life of an assassin is pain, you. You suffer it, you inflict it, you watch it happen with the hope that you can help it disappear in time. A terrible irony. Yeah. But there you go. All right. I'm to drag this old man back to his villa. My mentors wish to meet you. We left China together, in secret, but these men... They caught him in Venezia. Who are they? Servants of the Emperor, Jia Jing. I was born a concubine, but my mentor freed me when I was young. We returned later to save more girls, but they were... The Emperor is a cruel man. He prefers Lin Qi to beheading. Ling Chi. Slow process. Many thousand cuts. Then dead. Pack some bags. You must stay at Machiavelli's tonight. What happened? A misunderstanding. Give me just a moment. For the Borgia, revenge drove me forward, and my first impulse was to aim for the head. In time, however, I learned that those who inspire fear have more devoted followers than those who preach love. Killing Rodrigo and Cesare would have accomplished nothing without some equal measure of fraternity. So I spent many years teaching men and women to think and act for themselves. First in Roma, then Constantinople. Love binds our order together. Love of people, of cultures, of the world. Fight to preserve that which inspires hope, and you will win back your people. It will take a long time. A long time. If you do it right, see, get some rest.
It's a long way home, no? Much to see along the way. Thank you, mentor. Here. This may be of use one day. No. Only if you lose your way. You should go. Be back just after dark. <laughs> you should have stayed home. I am home. We will be right over here. Al diavolo! I hate this damn city. I wish I was in Rome. I hear the women there are... Hmm... Like ripe Sangiovese on the vine, you know? Not like here, Firenze. <laughs> I don't think Firenze is your problem. Prego? <laughs> Coraggio, vecchio. Get some rest, huh? <sighs> I was a young man. I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into containment. Love liberty and time, once so disposable, are the fuels that drive me forward, and love most especially, mio caro, for you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing, endless affection. Sofia, forever yours, Ezio Auditore. <laughs> <laughs> 